Hey guys, Movie Fan here to talk to you about something I saw online not too long ago. And that would be the discovery of a 15-foot great white shark with a huge bite mark on it. I'm sure you've probably seen the pictures by now. And it's very, very fascinating, actually, because, you know, this can only mean one thing. A 15-foot great white shark has a bite mark this big. Clearly, it was bitten by something bigger. This isn't the first time in recent years that they discovered a huge bite mark on a shark. Because I'm sure many of you will remember this little picture right here taken in Australia. That shark was bitten in half. That was 11 feet, if I remember correctly. And, well, look at the bite mark. That, that's huge. The question is, what did it? A lot of people are thinking Megalodon. Some are probably thinking an even bigger great white shark. And, well, you know, all kinds of other theories. Obviously, we could rule out orcas because they wouldn't have left this much behind. A lot of people, because of this picture and this new one here, they're thinking it was a megalodon. I don't think so. Because, one, you know, for a megalodon to be around after all this time, that is a very, very big stretch. There's no denying that. And I know a lot of us think about the coelacanth, but in this case, uh, it's very unlikely. Because, you know, don't forget, we have been overfishing big time. There's no denying the truth there. And a megalodon is believed to eat tons and tons of food per day. So for something that big to go completely unnoticed and to not invade the beaches and swallow swimmers and surfers whole is very unlikely. Obviously, if it was around with no food to really munch on, it probably would have shown up by now. And on top of that, there have been no discoveries of whales having huge gigantic bite marks on it why does it have to be huge well take a look at this picture here this is a recent depiction as to what they believe its actual size might have been obviously it would be having a whale for lunch and we would have seen signs of giant bite marks on it. so what about a bigger great white that is very much possible because i know there's a standard as to how big they grow but there is gigantism out there. There could be some great whites out there or different species that could grow to giant proportions that we just haven't found yet. It's not impossible. In fact, it's more likely than you think. I mean, there's always gigantism here and there. You know, you've seen pictures of giant animals and certainly giant people, so it's not a stretch of the imagination. Another thing to consider is where this uh, picture was taken from. It was taken around Guadalupe, Mexico. And there's a big legend going around, it's been going on for years, that there's a giant shark in the area. So, if anything, this might be proof that that giant shark actually exists. Let me know what you think. This is Movie Fan, signing off.